Hello everyone guys, uh, today we're going to see how we can connect to our Java program with uh, database using SQL Server uh, IDE. So, firstly, uh, we're going to have to create a database on the SQL Server and we need a uh, project on uh, Java. Here we are using NetBean. And so, let's begin. So, firstly, we're going to have to log in uh, with our username and password uh, in this case my username is p1 and i have a password so i'm connecting it so make sure it is not windows authentication it is sql server or sql server authentication so connect in case you don't know the password or uh, username so you can go uh, to my channel and find out i have made some videos on that how to create user account and change passwords and okay i'll put a link in the description of the, those videos okay connect connect it so let's create a new database new database and let's name it sample as mp sample okay Click OK. So expand this for example. Click here and click new query. So we're gonna create a table. Yes. So we're clicking here so new query and it will take some time. And here it is. Now I'm going to write a code of uh, creating a table. Let's create a table. Student. Now we have written code for creating a table. So let's now execute this. So we're going to execute this uh, query. So we have created a new table. We go expand this sample. Go to table, and you have a new table. Okay, now we have to do something which is we call go back to SQL Server. SQL Server Configuration Manager. You now have to go to SQL Server Configuration Manager. You can also search it from search bar. Okay, so let's click here and uh, Will ask you for permission. All right. So you have to go to this option, SQL Server Network Configuration, and go to Brace here, and go to TCP/IP. And here, uh, you in your case, if you haven't changed it yet, you will find there is no but i have already changed it to yes so all you have to do is like this yes and then go to ip address and scroll down the bottom and the last so here we can see tcp dynamic ports and tcp port so all you have to do is this will be blanks for you 
and you have to uh, put 5469 for your TCP dynamic ports and 1433 for your um, TCP port and now you will have to click OK and then you have to click here this uh, SQL server services and you have to restart this just here and it will restart and take some time and then you have to come back and then okay here process is done i haven't restarted because i have already started it so i don't have to so you must restart it by clicking here and restart okay it's done and now we're gonna go to our net beams um, we have the project which I name of the project is server application 2 so I have a uh, this is the main class and I have a frame this frame is look like this so let me show you this and now all we have to do is go here and write these codes and make sure you uh, uh, enter your user ID according to yourself and your own password and database name. So before that, you have to go to service and click on database, new connection, and here you have to select new driver and you have to select add. add. And you have to select uh, something called uh, JDBC, uh, a skill service that is driver. I'll provide that in the link uh, in the description. Okay, so I have that. This is the one. You have to select this and click OK. And this fails will automatically uh, treat and click OK and next and here the host name would be localhost and you have to write your uh, port number is 1433 and here you have to include your database name so in this case my database name is sample So here you have to click on the provider user ID and password and click test connection. Here uh, it shows connection succeeded, that means we have successfully established a connection between Java and database. Now let's run our program. So, first thing we have to do is we have to you go here and right click on library and click add jar for file or folder you have to select this one especially sql jdbc4 and i'll provide that okay click open now now let's run this let's run this whether okay let's run the program and the project okay now I'll put the name Adam okay, it shows the mirror okay, now, okay we rebuild it one let's see there is any problem or not okay good all good let's done this 